Are you struggling to grow your Discord server? Well, today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up Discord, which is one of the methods you can use to grow your Discord server. This can be done on all devices, so make sure to follow carefully, and if you have any questions, be sure to drop them in the comment section below. Now I have two things which I want you guys to do, and this is first to subscribe. Yes, you probably hear this in a lot of videos, but I seriously need you guys to subscribe, as right now, only 8% of you guys are actually subscribed. And if you're watching this video right now, and you haven't subscribed, I'm urging you to do so. Also, make sure to comment down below where you actually found this video, as it always interests me. Alright, let's get to the reason why you came here. So, setting up Discord. It's a pretty simple process. Firstly, make sure that you've obviously got a Discord server, and I'm going to be using a random server I have spare, and pretty much what you're going to want to do is go onto a web browser, which in my case is Google Chrome. Then what you're going to want to do is go to Discord's website, which is also in the description, and it should take you to a similar page like this. And then what you're going to want to do is click the login button at the top right here, and you can see when you've clicked that, it should open you to this page right here. Now, if you're not already signed in, you just got to sign in real quick. It's pretty simple. But when you're signed in, as you can see, I'm signed in as Fleet. You need to just click Authorize down here, and then it should take you to this page right here. Now, once you've signed in, it should take you to a dashboard. And this is the place where you can see the servers you set Discord up with. You're now going to want to set up a new server and select the server you're setting Discord up with. So, add new server and select the server, and in my case, it's going to be the test server. Then you want to fill out these boxes right here. So for me, main language is obviously English, category is going to be community. When it comes to the tag section, you can literally add anything you want here, which links to your server of course. So for example, if you host giveaways, you might put giveaways in here, you might put social if you're a social server, or you might put gaming if you're gaming related. You can add up to five tags here, and I suggest being smart with your tags, as number one, you haven't got many, and number two, this is the one way which people are going to find your server on the website. Then you can add a description. Here you can either describe what your server is about, or you can put in your server ad, which is what I usually do. If you haven't got a server ad or you're struggling to make one, watch my video which is somewhere at the top, right now. Last but not least, check if it's a safe for work server. If not, leave it blank and then just make sure that this public box is ticked and then click save. Now once you've clicked save, you should be open to a little tab like this. And this is the final step. Now you can just invite the bot to your server and I'll be pretty much explaining how that works in a second. So this is inviting the bot now, so you just select the server, make sure it's the right one, so test server, and then click continue. And then just make sure to authorize that all of these blue boxes are ticked to give the permissions for the bot and then just click authorize down here. And then do your human verification of course, so click that, and then it should be in your Discord server. If you've got this far in the video, if you could take the time to drop a like, that would be awesome, and also join my Discord servers, which are both down below. So now we're going to hop onto Discord, and you'll see the bot is already in the Discord server. Now all you need to do is go into the channel and type in exclamation mark D invite and then the channel that you want your members to first see when they join. This could be a verified channel or just some information channel, but in my case, I'll just put general. So exclamation mark D invite space hashtag general. Then press enter and it should send a message from the bot. As you can see, invite link has been changed to general. So there you just pretty much added the invite to the server so that people can actually join from Discord's website. Now, finally, all you need to do is exclamation mark D bump and will then bump your server onto the website. So exclamation mark D space bump. Press enter. As you can see, I did actually bump the server a bit earlier today, but it's got 12 minutes left until I can bump again. And pretty much you can do this every two hours to maximize the amount of people joining your Discord server. So make sure that you're actually bumping your server. So that's everything you need to know. That's how you set Discord up and hopefully you can start getting some members in your Discord server. Before you leave, be sure to check out some of my other videos as I have a ton of Discord content for you to watch. And hopefully you can learn some more things just like this. Such as this video which is on the screen right now on methods you can grow your Discord server with. Hopefully I'll see you there. Have a good rest of your day and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.